Hello guys, today we'll have a look at two new cars you can get during this week's Italian Automotive season. First we have the Fiat 131, the rally version. This car has won the manufacturer's WRC World Rally Championship in 77, 78 and 80. It has a inline motor and it was a good rally car in group 4. Between 76 and 81, this car won a total of 20 victories, 4 wins per year, which is very good. It sits at the lower end of C-Class and sounds very much like a rally car to be honest. It has front engine rear wheel drive and... Looks very much like a rally car. So I bet there is going to be a lot of error upgrades or body kit. It does actually work quite good. And it is quite fast off the bat. I did not look at the ratio we have, but I think it's quite impressive. It has such a good start. So, we are going downhill. Why did I choose this map? Because it is. It has technical sections, but it's also a map where you can need to go very fast sometimes. But as you can see, the first one is doped. It can go very fast and is relatively good in the technical segments. doesn't break as well as I had hoped, but all in all, like I said, the first place had doping, but other than that, car drives good. Alright, so after all that, my expectations for this car were not high. Which is why I'm quite positively surprised that it is actually that good. It handles very nicely on dirt. I think probably almost as good as you can control a car on dirt. It's also very fast and has good acceleration. After all this, I'd give this car a solid 8 out of 10 for dirt. That was the Fiat 131. This is the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. It has a V8, that's why it's called the 8C, 8 cylinders, and it is rear wheel drive. Only 500 of them were built, so this thing is quite rare. It has a very smooth and round looking. Due to the fact that it's Alfa Romeo, it is very round. And also one of the most beautiful cars in the game. It is from 2007 and it sits in the middle of a class. And the fact that this car is rear wheel drive was very well shown. By the fact that it just did not accelerate. It accelerates very nicely. It does not have any or much tire slip. So now on paper, this car can go 420. Now I'm going to test out what it actually can do. So we will not reach 
probably not reach the top speed. Yes. So, the reason why I decided to maybe test if I want to change my standard road racing car test track is because I think this map is more difficult. You need to break out and you need to return handle. And also there's not that much room for error. Look on the old one, other one. When I decided to or when I did not break enough, it basically wouldn't matter because I just wouldn't crash because the track is very wide. As you can see here, the track is not that wide. So it takes quite a bit of room for errors. So, the Alfa Romeo 8C, it struggles a bit around the corners, but other than that, it looks nice, it's fast, and it's all in all a good 8 out of 10. So, that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Forza, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, tell me what I can do better, or any games I should play, and I hope we'll see us in the next video. Goodbye.